We'll call this meeting to order. This is the Delaware County Commissioner's meeting. Uh, it's Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. Time is 9 a.m. Let's open the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Steve, could you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Present. Mr. King. Here. Mr. Henry. Here. Mr. Brooke. Here. Thank you. We're down to uh, the approval of minutes. Uh, approval of minutes for August 17, 2020 meeting, and then the special meeting we had on September 2nd. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve both sets of minutes and a second. Roll call, please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Okay, um, we'll go down to contracts and agreements for approval. Pulling site change, Mr. Spangler. Good morning, Commissioners. Rick Spangler, Delaware County Clerk. Uh, what you have in front of you today is a, a corrected list of polling sites for the November 3rd election. Uh, prior to the June election, we had to change one with Kamak Methodist Church, and you guys had already signed. A previous contract we did that through an, a special meeting of the election board got it approved and got it approved with the state so the first change is just to bring you up to speed on that second change is that Yorktown Church of the Nazarene has asked us not to use their facility for this election we were able to uh, speak to the town of Yorktown and they have allowed us to use their street garage building which was formerly the Lions Club building so with those two corrections, if we could get your signature, then I could move forward with publishing uh, the polling sites for November 3rd. I'll make a motion we accept the polling locations for the 2020 election. Second. We have a motion to approve the polling locations and a second. Roll call, please. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spangler. Okay, the uh, phone contract. Mr. Fluke. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, through the period of time and since February, we went through an RFP, looked at uh, nine different vendors that responded, uh, had a, a consultant assist us in the selection process by going through the RFPs and weeding out those that had the uh, correct information and thorough information. And then coming down from that, um, there was five vendors. And through those five vendors, we then selected three of those to have come in to have demonstrations. Um, level 365, Ambit, and AT&T. Um, during those demonstrations, we had the uh, invited the office holders and their personnel that wanted to come in and watch the demonstrations and ask questions. And after those demonstrations were done, we <coughs> then had a meeting of those department heads and went through and let them give their thoughts and ideas of the phone system that they would like best like to work with. Um, it was a close selection. There was a, a lot of good items that the phone systems had, and and it's a lot more than what we've got presently. So, with that, um, we've presented you with a contract with Level 365. Um, that product seemed to have the best features that department heads wanted that we seen and also our contract uh, consult excuse me consultant agreed with um, that uh, it'll give us a lot of uh, growth down the next 10 years uh, we did we did request in the contract that they would support these units for at least 10 years and they all did that was one of the reasons in the selection of criteria um, the, the support feature 
that level 365 offered seemed to be the biggest uh, feature that uh, the department heads liked. If there was issues, there was an option to select a support ticket right off the screen, put your questions in, and then somebody would be getting back to you on it. So that was that was uh, seemed to be the the most focal point that they all mentioned. So it's with that, um, Jenny and I had spent a number of um, hours and days and reviewing information along with uh, <coughs> the contractor that we had to help us and uh, that's the selection that we recommend. I was very impressed with their demonstration. I thought it was a good product and they're just down the road. Yes, they're in Fishers. Fishing, so. I move we adopt the level 365. Second it. So I have a motion to approve the contract with level 365 in a second. Roll call, please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. I want to thank, I want to thank uh, <coughs> Jenny and Jim for working on this. I know you guys put in a lot of, a lot of time um, looking over these uh, phone systems, and I greatly appreciate that. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. John, have you, did you uh, review that contract? I did, and I worked with Ginny and Jim on okay. various aspects throughout the course of this. Okay. It was a long process, but a uh, very thorough and, and necessary process. Absolutely. John, you might explain to the public how the uh, payment uh, is made and the, the um, cost. Of, it's just paid monthly, or Jen, maybe you can explain that. <clears throat> There's a one-time charge of 64, almost $65,000 for the setup uh, and the delivery of the hardware. And then there's a monthly charge of $6,800, which is actually, I think, less than what we're paying now on the monthly charge. Yeah, I was real impressed. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, um, we'll move on to uh, Ashton Land Surveyor. Good morning. Uh, my name is Kathy and I'm from Ashton Land Surveyor at 325 West Washington Street here in Muncie. We have a property uh, that we are dividing for the mark lease that we had to go through the platting process. They are um, asking that they we divide off a piece that we uh, w did not qualify for the five acre, it was under five acres. So we are dedicating the road right of way to the commissioners that is right in front of this piece that we are dividing off. And it is up on Eaton Albany Pike. I move we adopt as presented. I'll second it. So we have a motion to approve and a second. Roll call, please. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, next is the Purdue Internet Agreement, Mr. Fluke. Uh, yes, this is an agreement that I've been working with Purdue in the last 15, 18 years. We have purchased internet services off of Purdue through iLight, uh, which they got a discount on for uh, the university, and that's worked out well. Um, and with our new infrastructure of putting in a new uh, internet circuit through AT&T, which is in conjunction with the jail. Um, they've asked if they could reverse the role and we could rent them internet service to their extension office up on the second floor. The, um, I believe they've got like five or six people, uh, which is not a big strain on, on the internet. Uh, they create a separate, what we call a VPN session from the uh, county building here through the internet up to Purdue. And then Purdue manages all of their infrastructure and their software on their computers. Um, the agreement's for three years um, and it's for $229 a month. And that's what they were paying before in the contract that we had with them. Um, and Pass that on to John to have him review it and see if there's anything that he's seen that 
Be... John, have you reviewed that? Yes, I did, and I didn't see anything that was um, was incorrect or that would be un improper. So they did uh, give us, you know, each I side had an opt out of 60 days notice if they wanted to discontinue the service. So I'll make a motion to approve. <clears throat> Second. All right, we have a motion to approve the agreement and a second. Roll call, please. <clears throat> Mr. Kane. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Flute. Yeah. Okay, we have a joint undertaking agreement with Daleville Town Hall. This is a, a an agreement through the Develop, Redevelopment Commission, and this is the commissioner's approval of this is a necessary step of for the um, bot agreement for the town of Daleville for their town hall and police department, police hall. Um, this is the redevelopment commission, I believe, has already ruled on this and, and voted on this. I don't know if Daleville has yet or not, but I think they they will at their meeting. So this is just one of the steps to move this project forward. And it's all paid with most of that TIF out there? Yes. So <clears throat> we're just approving for them. Yes. I move we adopt. I'll second it. A motion to approve the agreement with Daleville and a second. Roll call, please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. <clears throat> okay, next is ordinances. Um, we have ordinance number 2020-014, an ordinance meeting the composition of the Delaware County Commission and Tourism Commission. John? This was a ordinance uh, requested to update the Convention and Tourism Commission to meet the current statutory requirements. Um, and it's a nine member board, five appointed by the mayor because over in the statute, the largest municipality has the percentage of appointments to the board uh, as, as they do in the population in the county. So the mayor has five, the commissioners have four. The executives are the appointment. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2020-014 and a second. Roll call, please. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. <laughs> resolution number 2020-033, resolution of the Delaware County Board of Commissioners permitting disposal of excess soil from county-owned property. This is a um, resolution working with the city of Muncie there's some building project going on near the Ross Community Center, and there's some soil that they need to move and dispose of. This is soil from, from that area. So they would they requested that it be placed on county property, uh, and this is just the resolution to allow that to occur. The City Board of Works also has to approve a similar resolution. And it's just good topsoil then, not... You can use some... Yeah. Yes, it is. Get they just need to get rid of it, and, and yeah. they don't have to pay to, to dump it someplace. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve the resolution and a second. Roll call, please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Okay, resolution number 2020-034, approving joint undertaking agreement, pledging increment to the Daleville Redevelopment Commission. This basically is just what you just did uh, with the joint undertaking. This is the resolution part of, of that process for the Delville Town Hall. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve the resolution and a second. Roll call, please. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Okay, um, department heads or elected officials. Nobody. We have a uh, weights and measures monthly report. Everybody seen that? And we have um, payment of claims three million twenty-five thousand eight hundred eleven dollars and two cents. Motion to approve. Second. A motion to approve the claims and a second. Roll call, please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Um, John, do you see anything on our email address? 
There's a request by Mr. Grubbs about steps being taken to plan on to address the spread of COVID-19. Okay. I think you've you've addressed that by reaffirming the mask mandate and and following the governor's protocol. Correct. I know there's been a um, a rise in cases um, due to uh, Ball State uh, kids coming back, and, and we just um, everybody needs to social distance and pay attention to what you're doing, and wear your mask, and. Um, I mean, we, we've stated that over and over and over. So, um, Corey wrote an article in the, in the paper, what was that, last week, I believe. But that's, um, you got to wear the mask and, and stop the social gatherings like they're doing. That's, that's the problem. So, anyone got any other comments? Uh -huh. All right, no one. Can't be too safe. No one signed up to speak. Uh, motion recess. <clears throat> so moved. Second. We have a motion to recess and a second. Roll call, please. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Recess. <laughs>